Hey guys, I'm Kurt and I've got Steve here. We're with Off-Road Armor and today we're going to be putting some Armor Tech doors on this Polaris Ranger Crew XP1000. Now this one here is a 2017 and uh, these doors fit 2013 to 2018 XP1000 and 900 models as well for the Ranger. And uh, sorry for the noise, we're here in beautiful Marthasville, Missouri, actually rainy Marthasville, Missouri. So uh, it's gonna be kind of loud in here today. Fortunately, we couldn't do it outside. But anyways, so we'll go, we'll go ahead and uh, start going through the process of getting these put on and, and then uh, at the end, we'll do an overview of it. Okay, so we're gonna have Steve work on the other side, as you can see, uh, while I'm going over this. Uh, just a couple of the first steps. Again, we took off the, uh, the door nets already. So uh, just, I think there's like five bolts that you gotta take off. Take off the door nets, um, get those out of the way. And we also, as you can see, now this is optional, but uh, we took off the grab bars. Uh, the grab handles that are right here, they just kinda get in the way. I don't think we need them. You can keep them on, everything will go on with them on as well, but uh, personally, and our customer, I'm sure, is gonna want them off. So uh, then we're gonna take this, this uh, the hinge plate, and now what I need to tell you is if you've got a crew cab, you're actually gonna take the hinge plate from the front door, and you're gonna move it to the back. And you'll be able to tell that because this hinge plate only has one hole, and there's one hole right here, whereas the back hinge plate here is actually gonna be moved to the front where there's two holes. So uh, essentially what they did was, you know, the, uh, the Ranger was, if it was a single cab, you know, you'd have these, uh, these hinge plates would work. So anyways, we're working on a 2017 Crew XP1000 Ranger here, and uh, we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. Phillips head bolts that we used to put, put them in here, and then we used uh, a nut on the back of here. And same with there, we used the Phillips head bolt. Um, now we're on to putting on the hinges. So uh, the female part of the hinge is gonna be uh, down. So the male part's gonna be facing down, and that way, whenever we put these on the doors, which is our next step, uh, we'll be able to just put the doors right in there when we slide them on and off out of the hinges. So now that we've finished the, the hinges here, we're on to the striker, the striker bolt assembly here. Um, so we've got the striker uh, bolt bracket here, and I would just want to tell you guys the longer L brackets that hold the striker bolt is going to go to the front, and we're also going to reuse the original bolts that held in the net here. So uh, I always prefer reusing original hardware when I can, and this is a good case. Uh, there might be bolts in the bag that you can put here, but uh, these bolts are much better. So I'm going to use these, <clears throat> and then also uh, we used a bolt in the back, and these uh, brackets are much smaller. You'll notice that in the back. But uh, we're going to go ahead, leave everything loose. I'm going to leave everything real loose because there's, there's bound to be some adjustments that need to be made. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, put the doors on, put the hinges on, and then uh, see, see where it leads us. Okay, so as I said, we're going to put the hinges on, so I'm going to put the male hinge on the door here, and I've just uh, really tightened everything just slightly uh, with my hand. I probably could tighten this one a little bit more, but uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to put these on the other hinges, and we are going to adjust everything from there. So now you can see we put the door on, and uh, we're getting there. So I just wanted to mention that I did have to loosen a couple of these up even more. I thought I had everything loose, but uh, I had to loosen up everything even more to, uh, to get the male part slide into the female part of the hinge. So anyways, um, now, you know, now we can open and close it here. You can see the inside of the door. Uh, you've got glass up top and then the polycarbonate down at the bottom. We'll get into all that here in a little bit, but, uh, so now what we're gonna do is, even before we tighten these down, we're gonna get that striker pin, uh, we're gonna tighten that down so that we can close the door and make sure that it closes properly even before tightening our hinges down. Okay, so we've got the doors put on, as you can see, and uh, we've got the striker pins, or the striker bolts put on, and uh, just note that the shorter striker pin mount goes on the front and the longer one goes towards the back <clears throat> the one on the front faces inwards and the one on the back here is is located uh <clears throat> on the outside and faces outwards okay so um now this uh this is probably going to need some more adjustment we're going to start with the back door 
and work our way forward now. So as you can see, we've got, uh, got this back door on and we're gonna do some adjustments to this. As you can see, I still kept it real nice and loose. And then uh, also, <clears throat> Armor Tech includes these little panels. So when you close this door here, you can actually see some daylight in here. And uh, so they've got this extra bracket that we're gonna put on the inside here to, uh, to close that off, to seal it off even better. So we'll go ahead, put this on, adjust the striker pin, uh, the striker bolt back here, and uh, get this door finished up. And then obviously we're gonna put the, uh, the door here. All right, guys, so it looks like we're about wrapped up here. And uh, like I mentioned, there was a metal bracket here that we installed on the inside of the roll bar. We've gone ahead and adjusted the striker bolt to where it fits, to where it uh, closes perfectly. And uh, so I'll go ahead and show you how that closes there. And uh, we've, we've went ahead, obviously, as you can see, we went ahead and put the door handles on too. So um, they're easy, just three bolts. And uh, so this back door, this back window does open up. So as you can see, I've already got it slightly open here, but uh, opens and closes. And uh, so closes real nice. So let's move on to the front doors. We've already kind of skipped ahead a little bit. And uh, you know, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it did take some adjusting. Uh, these are all, all these machines again are different. So we adjusted a little bit and uh, we got it to close perfectly here. So as you can see, I've got the window open here as you can open and close it. So took a little adjusting. It looks like we had to add um, some extra washers in here to bring this, uh, bring the striker bolt out. So just kind of a little trick of the trade there. You can put some extra washers in there, bring that out if you needed some extra room. And uh, so again, we've got the bulb seal that goes all the way around and our, our gap here looks very even. And uh, you know, these are Lex in, so we can get this peeled off here. You've got glass right up here. And uh, all the door handles do come with keys. So if you want those, um, looks like we've got a really good solid seal around all this, guys. So we're, uh, we're actually done. And uh, these can be found on offroadarmor.com. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Kurt with Off-Road Armor. And we finally got our Armor Tech doors installed. And uh, we are so happy the way they turned out. Obviously we need to do the other side, but uh, we got the driver's side done for video purposes anyway. So uh, I wanted to go over these a little bit. Uh, we've got, uh, these are steel doors and they are Rhino lined. Uh, so they've got a nice liner on them. And uh, you've got a glass window that opens and closes right here with the Lexan see-through panels down here. Uh, we've got a very good, very thick bulb seal that keeps, uh, keeps the cold air out during the winter. And uh, as you can see, they open and close really well. I'm going to go ahead and show you the back door here as well. And uh, here's the inside. So it's, a, it's an open inside. There is no insulation or anything like that. But uh, again, you, uh, you've got a really nice enclosure for your machine. Uh, these can be found on offroadarmor.com and give us a call if you got any questions.